Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, that game that I mentioned I wanted to record and or stream like two years ago or something like that, finally getting around to it. Now, a quick heads up here. The reason I'm recording this rather than streaming it is because as much as I love this game, and for those of you that do know me well enough and are new to the series, and if you are, hello, uh, you've probably heard me mention before that this is my favorite game of all time. Definitely up there. Probably this and Red Dead Redemption, I would say, sort of tied somewhat for first. And the thing is, I love the story, I love the characters, the world, everything's amazing, the combat is a little bit shit. So, I figure if I record it rather than stream it, I can cut out a lot of the random encounters, because they're not going to be that interesting. Obviously, I'll leave in boss fights, I may speed them up and cut out, you know, chunks of boring footage during the boss fights, I don't know exactly how that's going to work yet. And I'll probably show each enemy once in a random battle, and you know, important fights and stuff like that, but for the, for the most part I'm going to cut out the random battles, because it's going to be too much repetition. I don't mind doing it, but to watch, I'm going to run out of things to say, blah blah blah. So anyway, without further ado, let us jump on in here and watch the intro. One of my favorite intros of all time. So there you go, that's the intro to Final Fantasy VIII. Now, if the intro made no sense to you whatsoever, it will make sense in mere moments. At least, uh, the basic story of what was going on there with the fights. And yes, that's our character Squall, Leon Hearts. He's like Cloud, but not blonde. How are you feeling? I'm okay, I guess my, f my forehead hurts. We'll be, you know, like a bit of a pansy. My forehead hurts. Uh, no kidding. Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. Okay, so we get to name the character. We're not going to mess around with that one. I always 
Except like one time when I played Final Fantasy VII when I was very young, I remember I named Cloud Blade, I called uh, Barrett Mr. T, and I called Tifa Big Tits, because you know, I was a kid. Uh, but anyway, since then, I've always gone with the basic names, because it just makes sense to me, like he is school, I don't want to call him Jason or anything like that, so, school is school. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time, you might not be so lucky. Tell that to Sifa. Now, I've heard in Kingdom Hearts 2 he's pronounced Cypher. I've always said Sifa. So that's what I'm going to say. If that bother you, so bothers you, I apologize, but I'm sure you'll get over it. That's Sifa. Won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quistis. I'll call her now. Just wait here a minute. So, that was training... He was training against Sifa. Sifa went a little bit overboard, gave us a big old scar on our forehead. Score got pissed off, gave him a scar back. They're kind of rivals, and by kind of, I mean they entirely are rivals. Quistis, come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury's not so serious. I'll pro it'll probably leave a scar. Right. Now please come by. Pay attention to this character here that pops up in the background. Actually a very important character. School. So we meet again. And that's probably the last we're going to see of her for many hours, but try and remember at least what she looks like. Because obviously we don't know her name or anything yet. I'm just going to throw this out there, Quistis. Kind of hot. I knew it'd be either you or Sifa. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. And you'll learn what's going on here with the training and everything else soon. School, is there something on your mind? I think he says it's... No, not really. I was going to say it's nothing. It's been a while since I played this game. Like 12 years? A long time. What's so funny? Funny? No, no. It's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little. That's all. I'm more complex than you think. I am deep. An emotional, goddammit. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business. Yes, school is a, a very quiet, uh, withdrawn, not feelings expressing kind of person. A little bit like me. Hey, that's why I love this game so much. So that's Balam Garden. Again, you'll learn what that is, why we're here, what's going on with the, uh, you know, tests and everything else. Don't worry. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of music in any video game ever. I'm sure nostalgia plays a big part in that, but it's still a badass theme. Uh, there seems to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who found last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Maybe I was born in top condition. Been in hall at 1600 hours, I'll answer the team assignments there. Any questions? What's going on, man? Oh, and Sifa. Do not injure your partner or training. Be careful from now on. And then he punches the desk. Or fist pounds, I guess. Food exam participants, I will see you all later. And school, I need to talk to you. Right, so before we go do anything, I believe we want to examine this computer. Did I just say exam? Examine this computer. And we'll get uh, our first two GFs, aka Guardian Forces. Basically, summons. Uh, I think you have to go through the tutorial, but I think you can skip it by just pressing... There you go, GF data for school searching... So we have Quetzalcoatl and Shiva. I don't know if I'm saying Quetzalcoatl right. I'm going to assume so. Again, not going to rename them. And yeah, it's like some weird sort of vegetable-looking thing that uses light lightning. I don't know, it's like a vegetable-looking bird. And I think pretty much everyone that at least is familiar with Final Fantasy in some way knows who Shiva is. Shiva's actually the Hindu god of destruction. Uh, but Shiva in Hindu mythology, or religion, I guess, whatever way you want to look at it, is... um. Actually, a male, but they always depict her as a female in Final Fantasy games. Alright, skip the tutorial. Again, I know what I'm doing here for the most part. I'll explain it as we're going along. And I should I should hopefully be able to explain it 
a lot quicker than they do in the tutorials. I'm done! I have to try not to hum along with this theme, but it's difficult. Alright, um... I think we can speak to these people? Maybe? Yes, we can! You better show some courtesy to instru Instructor Trip. Her name, Quistus Trip. I don't know if we mentioned the last part yet. It's, it's an honor to be called over by Instructor Trip. Trying to smart a little when you're talking to the instructor, so they're like, you know, sucking up to her. You haven't been to the fire cabin yet, have you? And uh, when things come up in blue, it just basically means like it's a keyword, like a character name or somewhere you're going, stuff like that. You won't be able to take part in today's seat exam if you don't pass these prerequisites. I was gonna go this morning, but Sifa, he kicked my ass. Hmm, do you have a good excuse? Not really. Now let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gates. Come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. It's what we just did. Okie dokie. So, um, quick heads up. There is a card game built into this. Somewhat like Gwent from The Witcher 3. Kind of like Hearthstone, that sort of thing. Now, I'm not one for card games. However, I fucking love the card game in, in Final Fantasy VIII to death. It's amazing. Gets a little complicated as you're going along, because when you move between different regions, different regions have different rules. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Wah! You okay? Or we can be rude. Let's be nice, because, you know, if an attractive woman bumps into you, you're not just going to not say anything, are you? Are you okay? There! I'm so dainty! Teehee, I'm fine! Sorry, I was kind of in a hurry. Oh yeah, hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Well, oh no. This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh hey, hey. I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Sure, if I can have a tour of your garden, baby. Bow, chicka well well. Uh, we'll give it the tour just because that way we, I can give you the tour as the viewer, so sure. Woohoo! Alright, let's go. We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby and I'll show you the directory. And, you know, sex joke about her showing me her directory, etc, etc. You get the point. So I believe this man gives us our starting deck of cards. Anyway, the point I was going to make was, I will be playing the card game. I will probably be cutting out a bunch of me... Basically, you can soft reset the game. So, for example, what I do and what I imagine just about everyone else does is... You play a card game, you try and win the cards. If you lose your cards and you can't win them back easily enough... You're just going to get in a hole you can never dig yourself out of, because you're going to run out of cards. And the ones you're going to have are going to be shit. So, what you do is, you save the game, you play cards. If you lose, you reset the game. You, you're a safe scum and son of a bitch. Sure, some people ain't going to like that. I'm still going to do that. That's the way everybody does it. That's the way America did it. That's the way, you know, you get the point. So, I'm going to be, you know, resetting, trying to get my cards back, blah, blah, blah. I'll cut all that out. I'll keep in the victories or close games. Stuff like that. I don't know exactly how we're going to work it, but I will be playing cards to death. Uh, oh, hey. Would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're really not my thing. You can have them if you'd like. What? How do you play a card game? Hmm. I think it'd be best to look at the card game explanation in the tutorial. I don't know much about it, really. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing whatever the hell button 3 is. I think it's square. Uh, but keep in mind, not everyone is a card player. Oh, hey, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. Yes, I'm playing the PC version for anyone wondering. We've got seven cards, so we can look at them in our menu. Also, I believe if I go to config... Well, I accidentally went to cards, so I guess we'll look at this first. We start with a Gizzard, a Fungua, a Red Bat, a Gala, Jesper, Jesper, I guess? Never really thought about it. Also, look how blurry the cards are. My god, it's an old game. A Fetiskolan, Fetiskolon, I think? And a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar and a fattest goal land, alright? Anyway, uh, config. I believe we can speed up the... Yeah, battle speed. We want that on fast battle message. We want that on... Actually, we'll leave the battle message where they are. So I have time to read them. Scan we want on always, I believe. I think. ATB we want on wait. Because otherwise it will go... Uh, like maybe when I'm selecting... To attack or I'm talking or something, uh, enemies can still attack me, so it's easier if we leave it on weights. I think cursor I usually have a memory, I don't remember. Normal customize, eh, it seems mostly fine. 
Okay, it was mostly the battle speed that I wanted to change. And uh, let's go down in the elevator, shall we? Now again, we're going to do the tour here. I think it's very quick. Then we'll get a chance to save the game, and then we can actually try some cards. I don't know how much cards we'll be doing in this episode. The episodes are probably going to be reasonably long, because, you know, it's a long game. That's the directory. And there's the save point swirling down there. Well, this is it. Bellum Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and select it here. I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press... Okay, no one cares about that. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Yes, sir. You'll find the dormitory to the north. This is kind of like a college, I guess would be the, the easy way to understand it. The majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who commute. Yeah, I'm in the dorms too! You can rest and change in there. West of the north block is the cafeteria. There's always a big rush for the hot dogs, you better get used to waiting in line. Got it! East of the north block is the parking lot. We usually take the garden car when a mission comes up. The front gate is located at the south. To the south. That's right, I have to go meet Instructor Trip at the front gates. Hmm, what's the matter? Nothing. Next, we have the quad located in the west block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's the Garden Festival. It's going to be great. I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue, bitch. South of the west block is the infirmary. This is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Kanawaki. Now the east block. This is the training center. It's the only facility open at nights. That place, they call it a training center. You can It's like random battles. You can't die in there. It's real dangerous. Sometimes there are T-Rex saws in there, which are like T-Rex enemies that are incredibly powerful in the early game and can just one or two shot you. Dangerous. It's used for training, and they have real monsters running loose there. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. Gulp. Okay. South of the East Block is the library. There's a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals in the classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yep, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Now the question, what's the headmaster's name? His name is Sid. Because there's always a Sid in Final Fantasy games. Sometimes female. Uh, that's about it. Anything else? Got it! So there you go, that's the basics of how the garden works. Hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training at the previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Alright, let's save the game. Now, you saw that little blue dude, well, the dude in the blue shirt running around. Or if you didn't, there was a dude in the blue shirt running around. Also, I believe I have a save game here. Yeah. Level 9, level 7. So, again, I can't remember when I made these, but it was a, it was a while ago. And it was mostly just me testing the game and whatnot. Anyhow. Uh, the dude in the blue shirt running around, he has a rare card. By rare, it means he is the only place in the game you can get the card until disc 4, and then there's like someone who has all the cards that you missed. So the legit way to get this card early is this guy. Uh, it's the weakest of the rare cards, I think, or at least definitely one of the weakest. So if we wait for him to run around, or we can go around anti-clockwise and cut him off, we can challenge him to cards. Now, since he has that, He's going to be kind of tough, so what you should really do is go challenge some other people that are easier at cards. There's like a dude to the right on a bench. I think I usually get my first cards from him, so let's go give the guy on the bench a try. We'll see if we can beat him. But again, we may have to reset the game a few times here. Just expect that. I only began collecting recently, but we can play. I love the music. Listen. Dun dun. Alright, enough of that. Okay, so let's figure out which cards we want. Now, the way the card game works, you have a board here that's 3x3. Three three. You place a card down on a square. You can see we have numbers on four corners of the card. So basically, that 3 represents that the top part of this card is worth 3. So if we place that top edge against the bottom edge of someone else's card that has a 2 or less, as in we have a bigger number, we'll take their card. And then whoever has the most cards owned on the board at the end wins and gets to select one of the opponent's cards. Now later in the game, sometimes the rules indicate that when you lose, you lose all of your cards. Like, all the ones you're playing anyway. Because you can own, you know, fucking hundreds of the things. So anyway, um... I think that one's pretty good. That one's not bad. That one's okay. Um, this one might be handy because it's got a six. Hmm, alright, let's think. What are we weak at? 
We're weak at, like, the, the left side, definitely. Do we have something that's good on the left? I guess the Gizzard. And the top is also pretty weak, so we'll go with the bat for six. And that's going to be our five cards. Again, we will probably lose a few times before we get to go here, because if you look at his cards, they're generally pretty good. So, now, if I place this or this uh, to the right of him... Can I cancel this if I come... Yeah, okay. No, wait. How do you... Okay. So, for example, if I put this here, we won't take it. Or if I put it here, we won't take it, because his numbers are greater on that side. So this card would take it as would this one, but this one would leave us extremely open. This one less so, but still very much takeable, so... You can't, I mean, hmm... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is great. we'll go with this. I'm not the greatest card player in this game, but uh, I, I still enjoy it. So we could take any of these with this, and that's the only thing we could use. Um, I'm gonna put this here, and hope they take it from the right. They did not. See, I was hoping to put one down in the bottom right-hand corner here and take it back. Hmm. All right. So we could take... Think, 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 think. So we can definitely take... All right, hang on. We can definitely take his card that he just put down, but he's obviously going to try and counter it. Here's the problem. If I put this here to take it... Oh, actually, that, that won't even work. But if I did, he could uh, take the one in the top left plus our card. So... Let's go with... So if I put this here... Yeah, okay, I think this is what we want. I think this is what we want. Because then he's probably going to put that there, yes. And he took two back, and then we take this. And he's going to take me, and we're going to draw. Son of a bitch. God damn it. When you draw, it's, it's just a draw. You don't... <laughs> God damn it. Well, at least we didn't lose. So yeah, that's... Uh... I'm going to need one more point. We would have had him. So I think we got to play the same ones as we were playing before, because it seemed like a reasonable deck at the moment. So we just need we need, we need to get that one more point, man. One more point. Hmm. I can't even take that, can I? No. You son of a bitch. Or if I put this here... Yeah, he can't take that. It's actually kind of easily. Um, it might be worth just sacrificing one of our cards here and then trying to take it back. Oh, this is a problem. This is already a problem. Hmm. I'm going to put this here. And he's definitely going to take it. And then we can take that one. What do we want to take it with is the question. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, God. See, this is this is where it all goes to hell. I'm just trying to think. Would that work? No. All right, fuck it. I guess we'll use this one. He's going to take it again. And then hopefully we can take it back or take what he... He didn't take it. Okay. That works. Hmm. Can't quite easily, though. I think I'm going to do this to... So I, if I put this here, I'll take this and guard him from taking this one. Then he can definitely take it, but still, we'll be up a point. And then he kind of had to do that. Then we can take this back, and then he's going to take it back, and I think we're going to draw again. We're going to be a little bit of a stalemate for a while. But, you know, again, a draw is a draw. It means I don't have to reset the game. Again, we're not going to spend the entire episode on this, but uh, I want to at least win, like, one card. That would be nice. Maybe I'll start cutting out the draws at this point or something. I have no idea. Right, so we got to go first. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> it's never good going first when you have weak cards. Uh, He actually doesn't have that great of a deck. His Tomberry is definitely his best card. Let's see if we can entice him to use the Tomberry. What could I do to do that? Maybe... Hmm, well, I don't really have much to entice him to do that, actually. If I put this down here, he has to take it from the left, and he can only take it with... Actually, four of his cards. Screw it, we'll do that. We'll, we'll sacrifice that, because I don't think we've got much of a choice. Okay, he went defensive as well. You son of a bitch. Can we take the Tomberry? No, we can't. God damn, at least he's played it now. Um... Alright. Was not, was not expecting him to do that. Uh, if I put this here, he will probably take it with uh, the thing at the bottom, whatever the hell that is. I forget the names, I used to know all the names, but basically they're all uh, monsters in the game that you can fight. Which is another thing I love about this game. Unlike, for example, Final Fantasy X, which I still love. The monsters in Final Fantasy X, a lot of them are just uh, like recolors of, like for example, you'll fight like a little liony looking thing. And then you'll fight the same thing later on in the game with a different name that's tougher and they've just recolored it. But it's the same thing. All of the enemies in Final Fantasy VIII look completely unique. 
it's amazing. Like, because when you consider how old this game is. All right, so what do we do now? Um, I do believe we cannot take a single thing on the board right now. That is a problem. But hey, he hasn't taken anything yet either. So what if I put this here? Again, he will have to try and take it at this point, I think, with the thing at the bottom. So if he does that, he'll put it there. And then we can take it back. Alright, I think this might actually work. Please do it. Oh, you fucker! I didn't even realize you could do it! Oh, you fucker! Alright. That's no good. That's no good. I think we're actually screwed now. I think we're screwed. I think we're absolutely screwed. Um... Yeah. I kind of have to do this now. At best, we might get a draw out of this. Nope, we're gonna lose. And that's, uh, that's the point at which we go, uh, Control and R. I think it's Control and R. Maybe you can't do it during a car game or something? Let's, let's have a look here. Does Control and R work now? Yes, it does. Alright, so give me a moment here, we'll get back in the game, and we'll see if we can win at least one card before we carry on. Alright, we're back, and his deck looks kind of powerful, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, also, we cannot do anything to that card. See, this is the problem. In the early game, see, what... I guess the other thing you could really do is, sometimes when you kill an enemy, you'll get that card as a drop. There's also uh, an ability you can get in which you can morph an enemy into a card. So, that's the other way of building up your cards without actually playing it. But I like to try and sort of work my way up from the bottom at the beginning of the game, though you really are at the very bottom. These cards are crap. Like, they really are. This is one of the weakest dudes in the game, and he's got some good shit compared to what we have. Um, I mean, there's probably somewhere better to play first, but, you know, I ain't no expo on the card game. Uh... Alright, I think we'll go with... Is there something we can block in? This would be... I mean, he could take that with three of his cards. Oh, fuck it. To hell with it. Okay, he did take it. Then we take it back with you or you. Hmm. So if I do that... Oh, we can actually take it with this. Let's do that. Then he'll probably take it from the left. Then he took me from the left. You son of a bitch. He's a, he's a tricksy one. Alright, let's put this down. They can't take that. Then we can take you, and you can take me straight back. So we're going to lose again. Yep, uh, alright. Give me a moment here. Alright, we're back. You know what? Screw the card game for now. There's actually a dude near the front gate that I'm remembering, and I think he may be a little weaker than that dude, so we'll try and play him instead. This guy right here. And you can only, I think, go through this one. Alright, what up, buddy? Huh? Challenging more now win or lose we're just gonna carry on after this because again There probably will be episodes that are nothing but cards, but I don't want it to be the first episode, you know So, uh, you know just giving you a taste of the oh Jesus Christ, man <laughs> This doesn't look easy. What the hell? <laughs> All right, fuck it put that down Okay, he's got to take it. Yes, and look what he took it. Oh you deck hole. All right Play it play like that play like that man Then we can take it back with this there we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, interesting. All right, we we might stand a chance here. Actually, depends what he does. I think he may have just screwed himself. Yes, he did. We won. You're an idiot. <laughs> we could have won that so easily. You know, I think I'll take the Bam off card. That thing looks pretty powerful. There you go. We won a card. Holy balls! You know, I'm going back to the save point. No, I'm going back to the save. I must. I must save this card. Well, actually, I guess we can save on the world map, and there should be, like, a 0% chance that I die before that happens. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I'm missing anything around here. I mean, there's a couple of characters and things we can speak to, but none that are too important right now. I think there's a draw point just south of where we are. Now, this is one of the other things. I mean, I'll explain it in a minute, but, um... Basically, you can draw magic in this game from enemies and from draw points like this. Oh, we don't have the draw ability. That's right, you have to actually junction a GF before you can get that. So the junction system, they are about to explain it anyway, I'll explain it right now because I can do it much quicker and hopefully less confusing. Basically, when you have a Guardian Force, you can equip it, and then you'll get passive abilities. For example, now you see we have magic down there that we can equip things to. You can equip magic to any stats, and usually it makes sense. So for example, the best, stat, uh, the best magic to boost your HP would be like a healing spell, regen, life, full life, stuff like that. I think, I think full life might be the best one in the game for that. As you see, we have no magic right now. So if we use the draw point, I believe it's cure. We can then put some cure on our magic, uh... Oh, that's right, I still haven't done it. How do you do this again? Junction... Ability... Oh, there you go. So we put on these abilities, and now we can use those. As you can see, we have four options. 
I usually like to keep draw of item. So now that we have draw equipped, we can actually draw from the bloody draw point. There you go. So now we got some uh, some cure spells. So we have seven. Now, here's kind of where the combat system is kind of shitty. Because you junction your magic to your stats, you don't really want to use your magic in combat because you can only hold 100 at once, and then when you use one, you go down to 99, etc, etc, and then that stat actually becomes weaker and weaker the more you're using it. I mean, obviously stuff like full life is definitely worth using, but then you want to go draw some more to get it back up, so you're, you know, as powerful as you can be. So, for the most part, I never really use magic in this game. Like, I mean, you know, again, unless you kind of in a situation where you have to. I just get like a hundred of each and junction it where is appropriate. Again, it's kind of a poor design thing, but the combat's still doable, I suppose. Again, that's why I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the combats. So we junction Quetzalcoatl, I believe it was. So here's the other cool thing you can do. Uh, when you level up in this game, enemies level up with you. Kind of just exactly like Oblivion. Some people hate that. For the most part, I don't think it's too bad because you can get these passive abilities on your Guardian Forces, which make you more powerful. So it is still worth leveling up, because if nothing else, you're leveling up these things. And these things are where you get your advantage over the enemy. This is the card ability I was talking about, where you can morph an enemy into a card. For now, the first one you really want is Boost. Boost allows you to mash a button in combat when the summoning animation is going on, and then you can do way more damage with the attack. It's kind of annoying to have to do, but, you know... Again, I'm not gonna lie, the combat is not great in this game, and that's why I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of it, but I still like the whole junctioning system, I think it's interesting, if, you know, extremely flawed, and I like the abilities that you can unlock on the Guardian Forces, so there you go. The reason I haven't equipped Shiva, by the way, is because I'm gonna give that to, uh, to Quistis, because you want everyone on your team with at least one Guardian Force, if you can. And she's dressed differently now. Hello! I have a few things to explain before we head off. She's going to explain exactly what I just did about Guardian Forces. GF gives us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. So here's a brief explanation of junctioning a GF. I just did that. Get out of here. Everything's okay up until now. You can always check back by accessing tutorial from the menu. Okie dokie. Anytime. Once we get to the fire cabin, I'll explain how to junction magic. I already did that. Use the command draw during battle and stop magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stops. Ready to go? The fire cabin used for the test is located east of here. Now again, drawing is now one of those things that takes a while, kind of boring, but necessary. So that's something I'll be doing off screen. I mean, I'll draw a little bit now just so you can see how it works. Just in case I didn't explain it properly, but um, I'm sure you get the general gist of it. So yeah, the fire cabin right there. So... Ideally, what you would do here is make sure you get boost on both... Let me junction this before I forget as well. You'd ideally make sure you get boost on both of your Guardian Forces and some passive abilities. Wait a minute, I just put it on score. Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, you'd make sure you got some, some passive abilities on them. Get, get out of here! Uh, so you were more powerful when you go to the Fire Cavern than you would be normally. Again, it's not a huge deal, but... Uh, you can easily go in the fire cavern right now and just do it without leveling up. But leveling up, getting some stats and things you can equip on the Guardian Forces will make the fire cavern easier. Again, like I say, not 100% necessary, but it will make your life a bit easier. Now, I think if you go in the forest, that's where you can encounter a T-Rexor in there as well. We just saved it, so, you know, we'll run around the forest a little bit, but a T-Rexor might pop up and just destroy us. The other thing I like is if you run along the edge of the mountain around here, you actually get different enemies there, and the same on the beach. I think it's a caterpillar from the sound of things. Catch Chapella, whatever they're called. One thing you can do in combat is with Squall, because he has a gun blade, which is a sword that's a gun, you can actually, um, uh, pull the trigger on the attack and do some extra damage. So you can see, we can draw a cure from this guy. They have unlimited. You can get a hundred on each if you want. And uh, he has something else. I think this is Scan. So we can stuck it, and it will just go straight into a magic pool. Oh, it's Thunder. Uh, or what we can do is draw, and then cast it. So you can just take it out of the enemy and use it against them. Kind of cool. Like I say, there's, there's some good ideas here. They just didn't execute it terribly well when it comes to the combats. But again, you know it is what it is. So let's get a little tiny bit of cure on everyone. And I guess maybe a little tiny bit of Thunder. Like We'll do like two each. Again, just so it's not too excessive. Then we can at least boost our stats a little tiny bit. Now, I would like to get boost before we go in, because if you get boost on Shiva uh, before you're in the fire cavern, you can destroy the boss in there. I, I, I'm trying not to spoil it. It's not a huge deal, but you know, just if anyone doesn't know what we're going to be fighting in there, you might be able to guess from the fact that it's called the fire cavern. Alright, so that's good on the thunder, and then we get like one more cure on each. 
And like I said, that will do for now. And off screen, I'll probably draw like a hundred of these things. It doesn't take very long. It's like a few minutes. It's just a few boring minutes, you know? I mean, I could do it right now and just cut it out, but... I'm lazy, I don't want to have to edit unnecessarily. Also, yes, I forgot to use the gunblade then. I think it's R2? Maybe? Once again, the timing down is a little finicky at first. And that's as complicated... Oh, it's R1. There you go. And he's dead. Okay, okay. The other thing I like is, um... You see, when we beat an enemy, you get, for example, stuff like this. Spider webs. And if you look down the bottom, Quistis can learn blue magic ultra waves. I don't remember exactly how this works, but that's like her limit break, basically. I think they called something different in this game. Um, so... Do I just use it on her? Yeah, I do. Okay, so there you go. So now she has the blue waves, or ultra waves, or whatever. Uh, limit breaky thing. I think they have a different name again. Overdrive? Is that it? Is that Final Fantasy? I think Overdrive is Final Fantasy X. I can't remember what they call them in this game. So anyway, um... Let's do one more round of battle up by the, the mountain section here again. Because I'm pretty sure you get different enemies if you're like right at the edge of the mountain. And yes, it's very blurry because it's an old game. You know? Get used to it. It looks ugly as shit. But it's beautiful in its own way. <laughs> I mean, the cutscenes and stuff look, still look very nice. See, you can see, even see in the background, we got like the mountain thing. And these are the glacial eyes, I believe. These are a pretty decent card early game. So if you get the card ability, you can come up here, morph these into, uh, you know, a decent starting card. So they have Blizzard, and I believe they're the ones that have Scan that I was confusing uh, the Cact uh, Pillar with, I think. There's definitely something around here that has scan. Actually, it might be the bugs. Though, they might also have it as well. I don't know what they would have if it wasn't scan. It must be scan, right? Yes, there you go. So scan, as you might imagine, you can cast it on an enemy, and then you can learn their strengths and weaknesses. Let's do that, and just to check it out. Cast on you! And then we will get some more blizzards. Because again, you want at least, you know, a few, a few blizzards for the fire cavern. It'll make your life a lot easier. I see Elia, a floating monster that uses ice magic when running low on HP, uses vampire to suck HP from opponents. See, I like that, it's kind of cool. I very rarely use scan, but I think it's pretty good for bosses. Because, uh, again, I think it does sort of tell you tactics to beat in them, and their strengths and weaknesses and whatnot, and some of the boss fights in this game are actually really bloody hard. Again, even though everything levels up with you, so you're always on sort of even ground-ish. Providing you remember to get the abilities by leveling up the AP on the uh, the Guardian forces. Again, that's really where the strength of your characters come. As she kind of alluded to, GF gives her strength. She's not kidding. Like, if you don't level up your Guardian forces and use their passive abilities, all you got is your basic stats, really. And again, because everything levels up with you, you're at no advantage whatsoever. Let's give Quesicotto a try just because we can. And we probably won't be using it in the Fire Cavern because, you know, Fire Cavern. This should one-shot them, but I don't really remember. It's been a while. I might put the a ATB gauge on uh, on active just to make it a bit quicker. Because as long as I'm paying attention, it should be fine. I think you can... Uh... Oh, I guess we have to get boost for that. I remember this thing being loud as shit. Yeah, it's, it's not quiet. They did? They still, I think it might be still alive. Damn, these things are kind of tanky. Alright, uh, well, I guess we'll just attack them. They should be nearly dead. There we go. Gunblade of Justice. And yes, Quistis has a whip. She's a kinky bitch. You dead, sir? Okay, well, maybe Quistis will finish him off. There we go. Alright, so I think that now we'll do it for the sort of basic tutorial and combat and whatnot. Let's go take on the fire cavern. Now, I remember there's some kind of weird thing with the fire cavern where you get to... These things, by the way, the magic stone pieces are for upgrading weapons. Because uh, you can get magazines around which allow you to make new weapons for your characters. And you need a bunch of items to do it, like screws and stuff like that. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway. There's some kind of weird mechanic with the fire cavern where you get to select a time limit. And I think you get some kind of better reward for doing the quickest one. We'll try the quickest one. Though I won't lie to you, it might not go very well. But I, I think I... I don't want to say this, but I don't think I've ever failed doing it on the quickest time, you know? I, well, then again, we should probably get boost on, um, on Shiva before we do that, because that will give us a good chance. What do we need? So we got four AP, usually get one per enemy, so six more enemies at most? Again, I might cut out some of these battles, but we'll just run around here a little bit, get these last six points, 
Then we have boost, and then we should be out taking the fire cavern pretty easy. Don't be- Oh, thank god. Thank god. That's actually handy, because now we can get 3 AP here, so, you know, one more battle after this. Skull! You still remember? The R1 is the trigger. Pull it just as you strike. Same for the Resno Kukin. Renzo Kukin? I've never really thought about how to say that. I think it's Renzo Kukin. Which is his limit break -y thing. Again, I don't think they're called limit breaks, but I'm damned if I can actually remember what they're called. And yeah, the bugs, again, they have uh, scan and something else. But I think we have it. Evening, gents. I remember the first time I played this, I thought Shiva was naked. Like, if you look down, like, around her vag, I thought that was supposed to be, you know, she hasn't shaved. I'm deadly serious, by the way. Uh, and then I realized, no, that's like, she's got the same thing on her tits. It's supposed to be some kind of weird bikini she's got going on. I thought she just hadn't shaved. I thought, you know, she was naked. But no. Oh, we nearly leveled up. Spider Web. Again, they're leveling up, even though enemies level up with you, it still serves a purpose. Oh, Shiva leveled up. That also serves a purpose. Alright, let's do one more battle. I uh, always we'll do it on the field here, just so we don't actually get another one before we go in the fire cavern. How do I change the camera? There you go. So we can kind of look at the, the world at the moment. We're on an island right now. And you can't see it because I can't put the camera in a decent place. Actually... Yeah, it's just beyond that forest is the first town. So that's where we'll be going after the fire cavern, and then from that town you take a train, then the, the world kind of opens up a lot more. But bam, bam, alright, it's the bugs. I will try and draw from them just to make sure that they don't have anything that we don't have. Uh, but I don't think they- oh no, they do. Oh, it must be fire, right? It's gotta be fire. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, Thunder, Fire, Ice, we got all of that around here, and Cure, and Scare, so yeah, they give you the basics. Guess we'll just do this, it might be a little quicker than the, uh, the summoning, because I don't think they have very much HP, the bugs. The Caterpillars are a little tanky in the early game, and as you've seen, the summoning animations are kind of long as shit. And yes, I did screw up the, the gun. It's actually much, how do I describe it? The window of the trigger is actually very small, like, it's easy to mess it up. Like, even when you play this game, like, hundreds of hours, you, you can still mess up the gun. Again, it's not a huge deal, you only do a little bit more. Most of your damage will come from GFs. Most of the time, you're just gonna be spamming GFs in combat, which, again, ain't that interesting, and that's why a lot of that's gonna be cut out. There you go, we got boost on both of them. So now, what you wanna make sure you do, just in case anyone's using this as a guide or something, when you learn an ability that you want, it will automatically start learning another ability. We don't really want this one. A really good one is either Card or HP Junction, Vitality Junction, um, card is 40. We'll go with the, these ones so we can junction, you know, magic to our HP, and this one so we can junction magic to our strength, which, as you might imagine, is also very handy. And, uh, there you go. So, let's save again, and we're ready to take on the fire cavern. And what's our HP like? Not especially great. Do we have any potions? Yes, we do. Let's use those, just so we don't have to mess around with them in combats. Let's go! I knew these guys are weird. They have like weird coins for heads. I, I guess it's supposed to be a hat, but it just looks like they have coins for heads. Okay, junctioning magic. Now pay attention. I'll be explaining how to utilize the magic you have stuck. I already did that. When you draw a new magic, try experimenting with it. When you junction, this is how you become stronger. Okay, ready to go? Oh, you know how to use your gun blade. I get yes. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I was just concerned. That's all. All right, let's go. What are you implying? Just because I missed the trigger, you bitch. I feel like I need to burp. Oh god. Alright, objective. To obtain a low level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? So, we're a training... We're, we're like a seed member in training. She's a seed member, we're not. So she's accompanying us, and our objective here, to advance in rank, is to obtain a low level guardian force. So there you go. Uh, yes, do we need to prepare? I'm ready, I guess. We're probably not ready, we're probably fucked. I'm ready! I'm here to support. Instructor number 14, Quistus Trap. So at the time limit, choose one suited to your abilities, challenging yet reasonable. Again, I think that if you do the 10 minute one, uh, you get better rewards. I can't remember where the rewards come in, but I'm pretty damn sure that is the case. Very well, good luck. I think it's like when you're speaking to Sid later or something. Like, it's something he gives you, and I'm sure you get something better. Like EXP or something. I think there's like actual tests that you do with questions about enemies in the game and stuff. Uh, for the seed exam. My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. We need to run. I can't stand around dicking around. We only got 10 minutes. You know, the boys often joke on this test when I come with them. I guess my child makes them nervous. Whatever. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. The time's going down. What's she talking? Woman, what the hell? Go. Run faster. 
The cavern's pretty small, but the boss fight, it's gonna be a few minutes. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta get a move on. Alright, these are red bats, I think. Again, we have a card of that. Uh, best thing, I think, is just for, for us to run away. So, we'll try. You gonna, you gonna run? You gonna, you gonna run, champs? You gonna bloody run? Thank you. I'm calm. And I, I'm not gonna put the, the, the combat on active just yet, because... Otherwise, who we're fighting is going to end up kicking the crap out of us. I believe this is a fire draw point. We'll put it on Quiscus, I suppose. There you go. Uh, I should probably junction something. I think the time might go down whilst we're doing this, but let's be real quick. Uh, junction magic, and we'll put thunderous... No, okay. Yeah, secure so gives us eight spirits instead of seven. I'm damned if I can remember what spirit does. I think it might be related to how much damage your GFs do or something like that. I don't really remember. You can probably look at it in the, um, the, yes, bomb is an elemental monster, use a nice attack. Also, they can blow up on you. We ain't dicking around with that. We just get into the boss. That's all we want to do here. We can always come back and train in this place, which is something I'd probably recommend, because you'll get a lot of ingredients that you can use in, uh, to make into weapons. I kind of like this enemy. It's like a weird bat that uses, this has got a creepy face, and it uses, um, air, what the hell is it called? Thunder, even though it's the fire cavern. I think they're kind of tanky. No, they're not. Alright, I'll take it, I guess. Alright, got a little time, bit of XP, no items. We got, oh, a little Shiva leveled up. That's handy, that's good timing, I like that. I guess it was right, you and Sifra are in the closet of your own, you both have amazing strength and potential. Yes, we do. Okay, this is it, are you ready? I'm trying to drink. You seem confident enough. Alright, so this is our first boss of the game, and as you heard, low-level Guardian Force. And as you can probably tell by now, it's different. I love this music! Oh my god, it's amazing! What else to love? If we do this, what does he have? Yeah, nothing I really want. Ow! Yeah, Blizzard did some! See, early in the game, magic, much more useful than it is in the late game. Again, in the late game, you mostly just want to use physical attacks and summons. Which, you know, it's, I, I wish they hadn't done it like that, but it is what it is. Please hurry up. What the hell? Alright. Now, I know he says something when he gets weak. So, um, he'll probably be weak after this. Oh, that's right, we can boost. How do we boost? How do we boost? Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, God. If you press the button when there's a red X, it will reset the boost. So, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Pause! Alright, we got a little bit out of that, yeah. Old habits die hard. So that probably would have done like 250 maybe if we got a decent boost there. They have Shiva! I like the yeah, nice little, nice little touch that he says that. Alright, let's use Shiva again. This time, hopefully don't mess up the boost. I think it takes two or three good Shiva shots to kill him if you're blizzarding him the rest of the time. We should have plenty of time to do this, but you know. Uh, let's not screw it up. He can also kill us. As you can see, he's not doing terrible damage. So I think he may have, um, like a big move he can use. Just like, uh, you know, just like Shiva's attack. I think he can use Hellfire on us, unless I'm mistaken. I don't really want to find out. Alright, get the boost ready. By the way, to boost you have to hold select for it to even pop up, then you mash square. I remember for a long time I didn't even know this was an option, because they don't tell you to hold select. Like, they just don't tell you. So, uh, yeah. For a long time I had boost and I just assumed it worked automatically, and it did not. So, you yeah, know. 250? 256. Pretty good guess. Alright. Hmm, not bad for a human. See, he's nearly down. You can see he's kind of shaking all over the place as well. He's got the shakes! Caffeine withdrawal will do that to you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have you done humans? Oh, balls. Ow! Oh, use, use the cure. I mean, we'll probably be fine, but just in case. Okie dokie. Alright, one more shot, and he should be down. Mr. Hammer! Almost, almost overdid that. Oh, come on, man. I don't think I've ever got 130 with Shiva. The longer the summon, the longer you get. I think 150 might be the max or something. The 42 is even worse. Okay, he's not dead yet. I'm glad I cured. All right. Don't think we need Shiva anymore. Let's just go with a couple of blizzards just to do this quickly. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Right, magic, blizzards, magic, blizzard. You're a blizzard, Harry. 
There you go. Almost did the magic number. For me to lose to a human. Very well, I will join you. See, I knew he was on his last legs. Victory! Get to her. And there we go! We will now acquire Ifrits. And you don't get EXP for boss battles, which sucks. And we've got G Returner. Don't remember getting those? Maybe they're like a rare drop or something. And we also get Ifrit's card. When anytime you acquire a summon, uh, I think. Basically, if you have to fight the summon, you get the card. Uh, sometimes you'll get summons other ways, and that way you uh, sometimes have to win the card from, like, a person who owns it. And we got 20 AP. See, that's the good thing about boss battles. Tons of AP. And yes, again, we're not going to be messing around with names. There isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. Good, you just got yourself a GS. GF. If you junction the GF, you'll be able to use the Element J ability. I think what that does is, um, puts an element on your attack. So if we junction fire to that, our physical swordy attacks, or whip, whatever we're using, will do fire damage. Here's an explanation on elements. I just did that. We're going to ignore her. Strike the magic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Seems fine. There's a lot of fire elemental monsters here, so junctioning blizzard to your elemental attack, you'll have an easier turn with fire elemental monsters. Exactly. Right, and we'll put this on scroll. Because, you know, he's the main character. He gets two and you get one. You disgust me. Magic. Err. Why do I not see the elemental junction? Should it not be here? I'm confused. Also, since we have so few of each magic, you can see none of these are actually going to boost his stats whatsoever. But that's why you want to get like a hundred of them. So how do you... She was talking about... Hey, hang on a minute. Let me have a look at Ifrit. Maybe he just hasn't learned elemental junction. No, he does. Where the hell is it, then? Maybe I should pay more attention to her, but, um... I didn't think it was hidden like that. I thought it was just on the stats menu here. Uh, is it under a bit... Is it gonna be under a junction? Wait, 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 wait. Junction, magic... Is it like another page here? Oh, there you go, okay. So there, we have 2% ice on our attack. Not very much, but again, if you have, um, like 100, you'll get, like, I think... 50% or something like that. Obviously, like, Blizzard is going to be worse than Blizzard, uh, Blizzard Guard, etc. So if you have, like, 100 Blizzards, it's 100% shots. But even 100 regular Blizzards ain't going to be even close to that. I don't know what exactly, but probably, like, 50, 75, and then 100 for each one. I, I would guess. I don't really remember. Okay, so we're done the fire, Kevin. So if we get some battles on the way back, we can actually do them. Well, we'll go back to the garden, and uh, then I will think... We think we will end the first episode there. We got something done, we won a card, we blowed up some things, things have been done, we've achieved some stuff. I still feel like I need a buff. Uh, eh, you know what? Just because we can, let's try, um, yeah, I should really put the, the battle on, on active, because otherwise every time we get attacked it pauses it, which is kind of annoying. Oh my god, stop it. Yeah, we need to change that. That's slowing the battle down, like, way too much. But anyway, let's have a look at this. You'll get to see it a few times, don't you worry. Again, when we're in long boss battles, for example, say we're taking on, I'll just spoil it for you, Bahamut. Um, what we might do is, because we're probably going to be summoning again and again and again and again and again on something like Bahamut, what I might do is just cut out like the whole animation and just show you the damage, maybe cut out large chunks of the fight. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but somehow I will edit it to uh, be a lot less lengthy, because a lot of the fights can really drag on in the late game. Again, I don't mind doing it, but to watch, I can imagine, even if people don't mind watching the lengthy battles as such, I'll probably just run out of things to say. So, you know, there's that. I think there's a bomb. Yeah, it's a bomb, all right. Well, oh, God damn it, I forgot to do the damn thing. Well, let's, let's make sure we do it after this fight, because, good God, it's kind of annoying. All right, don't attack. Perfect. Let's keep the crap out of this guy. Again, the bombs can blow up on you. At this point, they will probably one-shot us. And if you can kill them without them blowing up, you can get bomb fragments, which I think you can either use to cast fire on enemies, or you can use them to upgrade your weapon. Now, I seem to recall there's actually some uh, weapon upgrade materials that you can't acquire later in the game. I think the one I'm thinking of are the screws that you get from geezards. So basically, when we come across some geezards, we're going to have to kill a bunch till we get some screws, because otherwise you can, pun intended, screw yourself. So, you know. Alright, let's go to the config, put on the... Yes, on active. Okay, so that should speed up the combat a little bit. Again, it means we're going to get hit more, and I have to be quicker on the, the reflexy side of things, but it's going to make it quicker. 
and you know, over like a 100 hour game, that's really gonna add up to a lot of time that we will save, so this seems like a generally good idea. Should I save out here? Yeah, I think I will, just in case we get in like a combat, get in combat with something that will just tear our face off, because eh, yeah, it's a little, little scary, because I kind of want to cut through the forest, and again, you can get a T-Rex or in here, they're pretty rare, but it can't happen. Okay, we didn't even get an encounter in there. Go! There we go. Can't get battles on the path, by the way. What up, Quistus? Well done. Let's see. I thought there was something else I need to go over with you before you take the seat exam. Oh yes, taking care of your GF, this is something you have to watch out for. She's probably gonna explain, yeah, the, uh, the junctioning abilities. I guess I'll read a little bit of this. A GF will level up as it gains experience and learn new abilities by gaining AP. From EXP and AP, EXP gained from battles automatically levels up a GF. While AP gained during battles can be distributed to learn different abilities. There you go. We know the rest. We knew that anyway. Now change into your uniform and assemble at the first floor lobby. Okay, so that's what we have to do next time. Alrighty, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, the best way to show your support, click on the like button, leave in a comment, will help to promote it, and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, I will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VIII. Goodbye, everybody!